So nutrition has been neglected. And I think the reason for that is that until 1950, nutrition was an essential element of medicine. It was the one of the most important aspects of medicine. And between 1930, between 1930 and 1940, which was the golden age of vitamin discovery, the medical profession took vitamins extremely seriously. And every time a scientist got the Nobel Prize for discovering a new vitamin, everyone got very excited and alerted. And during these 10 years, a large number of very important papers were published by doctors dealing with these various vitamins. But in 1950, <coughs> there was a major change. The American medical, the, the medical profession got the idea that we knew everything that there was to know about nutrition. Therefore, they dropped it out of the medical curriculum. And they don't teach it today. Uh, at, at UBC, that's the University of British Columbia Medical School, in four years medicine, they get one hour of nutrition. I spoke to a medical student from uh, Eastern, from Ontario, and I asked her, how many hours of nutrition did you get? And she said, nearly one hour. So I said, what do you mean nearly one hour? She said, he never showed up. Can you imagine doctors being trained for four years in medicine? without having more than one hour of nutrition, which is usually given to them by a professor of biochemistry, who may know his vitamins, he may know the chemistry of vitamins, but he knows nothing about nutrition. There's a major difference. <clears throat> so doctors today are almost totally ignorant, and they know that. The leaders of the medical profession know that they don't know anything about nutrition. And that, that's a major problem. So nutrition has fallen by the wayside. It's no longer taught anywhere. It's left by its own. It's kind of an orphan aspect of medicine. Now, the genius of Dr. Linus Pauling was that the term orthomolecular highlighted what we were trying to do, and it's the best descriptive word there is. There's no better word than that, because it refers to the use of optimum amounts of the right nutrients, compounds that the body's familiar with. They're not strains. They're not things, what we call xenobiotic. They're not strange things. 